What's up, Jones Bones? It is your girl, United Lee Random, and I'm washing my face again. I'm trying to get back in the habit of doing it every single day. I am off for the rest of the week, even though y'all don't know what week it is, because I pre-record and then post later, so I don't know why I was telling you that. But I am off for the rest of the week, so I thought, okay, well, I'm going to be productive every single day. And then, and then I looked around, and it's not sunny today, and, like, that's really affecting my mood. I don't know why but it is bothering me so i'm gonna try to push down that anxiety that i feel that it's so freaking dark in this house because it does not feel good like it's really dark like it's it's like what time is it it's like nine o'clock right now like look at that like that's the house that i am in like i'm one of those people when we finally do buy a house it's gonna have to have a lot of natural sunlight. That's one thing that I love. I wanna sit in a puddle in a sunlight circle and I just wanna soak it in from the inside of a house because I'm afraid of bugs. But also, we need to go ahead and do this intro and then I'm gonna wash my face after we come back. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. I wet my face already so you guys didn't have to watch me wash me watch me wet my face but now I am washing it um I really wanted to do a lot today okay and the day still started but the vibes are already off I was laying down um in bed woke up at six I woke up multiple times last night but I woke up at six and I was like the final time I was like you know what I'm not going back to sleep. I feel like I've had an adequate amount of sleep, so that's not the issue. It's just the house is so dark that I feel kind of stressed out because of it. And I know that's weird, but I woke up and I was like, I'm going to do something. And then I looked around and I was like, and I'm still going to try to get some things done, but it's something that did put like a little bit of anxiety in me. And I thought that's just interesting. Let's go ahead and share it with you guys. Um... Everything else is going well this morning. Like, I'm washing my face. I'm going to brush my teeth. And I thought, oh, yeah, I got, I have a hair appointment. And, like, it's funny that I have a hair appointment because I said my hair is coming off at the end. I said I wasn't going to go back to this person because she overcharged me. Like, I had, I went there. She did my hair. And then, like, a friend went there, like, a week later. And she charged him, like, $10 less. And I was like, Wow. He had more hair than me, and I'm just like, wow, I see how you do me. And I'm wondering if she charged me extra because I have a uh, slap pari scalp pariasis, which just meant that instead of using your soap, I brought my own soap for you to use, right? But I don't know. At the end of the day, I'm getting ready to braid up this frohawk for a little while. I'm thinking about keeping her braided down until spring or so and just wearing my wigs because, you know, when it starts getting cold, the best thing you can do for yourself is plop on a wig. And my reasoning behind that is keep my hair healthy, hydrated. And then also you got to start wearing those hats anyway. And I don't like wearing things on my head because like it can bother the hair if that makes any sense like pretty much like you wear a scully on your hair it's just dragging across your hair and as a black woman with 4c hair that is the curliest kinkiest hair um my hair does not do well with drying out okay she'll dry out by herself she don't need no help to dry out so i need to also start wearing a bonnet when i go to sleep and keeping up with my hair like I'll go through periods where I'm really good at taking care of myself and then I'll go through periods where I am neglecting myself so I'm trying to make the neglection go down way way low I don't know why Stuart never does anything when I'm going through these periods he don't be like okay let's brush your teeth I know I'm not a child but like your wife is not brushing her teeth or taking showers like come on sir but he's there he tries he feeds me when like, well, excuse you. Like, he's not going to get away with not feeding me when I'm in these moods. Because that's one thing I can eat. Sadness, sickness, and all that. That never gets in the way of me eating. I had um, the poopies, the squirtles, the, the other week. And um, every time I ate something, 
it immediately came right back out of me and I still continue to eat. I asked him to go get me some hot wings and you know, hot wings probably wouldn't have been the best choice when you were going through that, but like I just wanted some chicken. So at this point, we don't wash my face and this is an oil day. I haven't been taking care of my skin. Um, yesterday, I actually recorded and this is the day after the one that you saw um, last time. Um, I haven't really been doing it too much because like I've just been I just been I don't know I just been lost in the sauce but today and this week I'm gonna try to catch back up get some things going you know I'm gonna record a pick a cart today if y'all don't know what my pick cards are well not necessarily a pick a cart a collective reading if you don't know what a collective reading is, I suggest you check out this playlist over here if I actually put, put it up there because every time I'm putting these videos up, I don't do the things that I was supposed to be doing. So I just need to stop saying I'm going to do stuff, right? Um, but I am having fun doing this and um, interacting with you guys and taking care of myself. I don't know why I stopped doing this. I don't know why because I love taking care of myself. I love this. But you know what? today I'm gonna do another video and I don't know when that video is gonna come out but that video is gonna be me showing you my hair after it got braided and showing you my new wig I might even put that video out it might already be out it might be out the first of the month just be like boom this is what's happening right now um or I could do my makeup and give you guys the update instead of doing a live which I think more people would be interested in me just doing the channel update on that day instead of doing a live but I'll definitely try to do more lives so I can interact with you my darlings um but y'all gotta let me know what day is a good live time like what time is good time to go live because if I don't know it I can't do it you feel me so I'm just having a crisis if you would say so yourself and the crisis is just simply i need to be more feminine and not because people say i need to be more feminine but i need to step into my feminine energy okay and i i want to be creative i want to get things done okay and i feel like if you're the only pusher in the relationship and you're also the one that is going through the depression and the going through the inner child healing and whatnot at a deeper level because all of us are healing every single day all of us are trying to especially between me and Stuart we're both trying to better ourselves every single day but the thing is my trauma it got hands so when I'm going through those moments I take a step back I'm emotional whoop, 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 whoop. Um, I'm not doing as much as I would like to be doing and I try not to like punish myself I try not to yell at myself I try not to I mean like who's gonna really yell at themselves but I try not to be angry with myself for having to take those slow down moments but it's kind of frustrating because now I feel like oh yeah I want to do it and now I feel pulled back by something as stupid as it's just a little dark okay and you know what it's not stupid it's just I need I need to be gentle with myself and I have to remind myself that I need to be gentle with myself and I'm going to be gentle with myself but today I'm going to get some things done that is my main goal and um in the comments down below I'll let you know if I got things done and if you have to get things done take it slow and uh let me know down below if you got the things that you wanted to get done done for example I'm gonna tell you what I want to get done I want to clean up the house boom and that's very objective but like object abstractive it's not like oh yeah I want to do this I want to clean the house. I want to make my bed I have not made this bed in this house like we have the things that make the bed but we just the bed's never been made. You feel me? I want to make the bed and just like have everything put up. And I want to sit down and do like my makeup. And I guess that's going to be the video coming out on the first. But I'm going to go get my hair done too. And I don't know how long that's going to take. She's just going to wash it, blow dry it, and then braid it down. Um, but that's, 
that's pretty much it. Oh, no, I want to do the laundry, too. So I got to do the laundry. And the laundry could be going while I get my hair done and this and this and that. You know, things tie together. So I'm hoping that before Stuart gets done um, from with school, I have everything done that I want it to get done. And I'm just sitting, chilling, listening to music and editing videos. But we never know how the day is going to go. I might get tired halfway through and just tap out. Tap, 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 tap out. Um... I think I'm going to not be on TikTok for a day or two because TikTok, you know, we got some bad blood right now. I posted a couple videos and TikTok was like, you are in violation. And I think they just kind of shadow banned me, okay? Because now my videos aren't getting any views. And let me tell you, it was a thirst trap, Do you, you know what I mean? But, you know, I'm going to go ahead and start. I think I'm thinking about starting another channel called um, Unitedly Random um tiktoks and just go ahead and post all of my tiktoks on that app like and then it's not even necessarily need to be monetized or anything it's just like i'm gonna post my tiktoks here because on tiktok they be playing with me and then also i don't think that youtube really would have a problem with me wearing a suit as long as my nips aren't showing it's just me dancing and it might be a little provocative but it's not super you know crazy so um I'm thinking about doing that for the new year. But yeah, I, all in all, I'm very thankful that you guys have watched this video. Much love and positive vibes. If you guys love the fro hog, I'm sorry. Is she going to be gone for a little while? You know, it's for her greater good. At least for like three months, she's going to be gone. I'm just going to be going to this lady and having her braid my hair because I don't want to do it myself. And, like, look at her. She's having a hard time, if you guys can't see. She's having a hard time. Um, and it's simply because I haven't been taking care of her the way I should be taking care of her. I might even get the ends trimmed and start all over. But at this point, if we're talking about me trimming the ends, next time you see my hair, um, it should be longer than this. But, like, this is where we are right now. Like, right under the uh, lip. But most of the bulkiness, most of the thickness is really right here at the eyebrows. So, what I'm wanting to do is take this thickness at the eyebrows and take it under my chin by the next time y'all see it. You feel me? So, um, that is it. Much love and positive vibes. And I will see you guys next time. Like, subscribe if you haven't already. And, uh, that is all.